Good morning, Al Roker here with a look at the big weather story shaping up for this winter. Today is August 22, 2025 and we're already seeing signs of a major pattern in the Pacific Ocean, La Nina. La Nina is a cooling of ocean waters near South America, but its effects reach far beyond the tropics. This cool water shifts the jet stream north, changing storm paths and temperature patterns across North America. Think of it as moving a weather highway, suddenly your town could be in the fast lane for storms or cold. Why does this matter? La Nina can mean media group, heavy snowfall in suburban neighborhood, children playing in snow, snow-covered trees at its stock at a distribute underscore equally a snowier, colder winter for some, and a warmer, drier one for others. It impacts everything from media group, dry farmland landscape, parched earth and sunny sky, people at airport in winter, farmer inspecting crops in winter at its stock at at distribute underscore equally, travel to heating bills, and even farming. Understanding La Nina gives us a sneak peek at the winter playbook, helping you prepare for what's ahead. This isn't a minor blip. La Nina is a powerful force, part of a cycle that includes its opposite, El Nino. These cycles happen every few years, and this winter all signs point to a strong La Nina. Our models and ocean readings agree. Confidence is high in this forecast. So, what does this mean for you? Let's break down how La Nina will shape temperatures, storms, and snow this winter. Whether you're hoping for snow days or planning a warm getaway, knowing the pattern helps you get ready. La Nina's reach is global, but its impact will be felt right at home. From the Pacific Northwest to the Southeast, every region will feel its effects differently. The key is the jet stream's new path, bringing cold and storms to some and mild, dry weather to others. This winter being prepared means understanding how La Nina works. Let's dive into the details and see what's in store for your region. Stay tuned as we explore what this powerful pattern means for the months ahead. And that's your first look at the winter setup. Let's get into the specifics. With La Nina on the way, what changes can you expect in your weather? The main player is the jet stream, which shifts north during La Nina. This opens the door for Arctic air to plunge south, especially across the northern and western US. The result? A busy storm track from the Pacific Northwest through the Great Lakes and Northeast. These regions can expect more frequent storms, bringing rain, snow, and wind. If you're in this northern zone, get ready for an active, old-fashioned winter. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. lands on the warmer, drier side of the pattern. With the storm track staying north, places like Texas, Florida, and the southwest may see less rain and even drought. The contrast is striking. While the north bundles up, the south enjoys milder, sunnier days. Every La Nina is unique, but the general theme holds colder, stormier north, warmer, drier south. The strength of La Nina can amplify these effects, but other climate factors may tweak the pattern. Our job is to track these changes and keep you updated as winter approaches. So, whether you're bracing for snow or hoping for sunshine, La Nina will set the stage. Stay alert for updates as the season unfolds, the weather's about to get interesting, let's see how temperatures will play out next. La Nina splits North America into two temperature zones. The northern half, from the Pacific Northwest to the Great Lakes, can expect colder than average conditions. Cities like Seattle, Minneapolis and Chicago should prepare for a long, chilly winter. Western Canada will also see deep cold, especially in British Columbia and the prairies. Meanwhile, the southern US, from California to Florida, will be warmer than usual. Milder air dominates here, so cities like Phoenix, Dallas and Atlanta can expect a gentler winter. The central U.S. becomes a battleground with wild swings between cold and mild. States like Missouri and Kentucky could see dramatic temperature shifts week to week. This sharp contrast is classic La Nina, keeping everyone guessing. For the north, it's time to bundle up. For the south, enjoy the break from winter's worst. But don't get too comfortable. Surprises are always possible. The roller coaster of temperatures will keep things lively. Next, let's look at where the rain and snow will fall. Precipitation is where La Nina really makes its mark. The active storm track targets the Pacific Northwest, bringing heavy rain and mountain snow. The northern plains and Great Lakes will also see above-average snowfall thanks to cold air and frequent storms. Lake-effect snow will bury cities like Buffalo and Erie. In the northeast, inland areas get more snow, while coastal cities may see a mix of rain and snow. The south, however, will be much drier than normal. Bad news for drought-prone regions. California, Texas and Florida could see worsening drought conditions. While the north digs out, the south hopes for rain. 
It's a classic La Nina split wet and snowy up north, dry and mild down south. Now let's break it down by region. Here's what La Nina means for your region. Pacific Northwest, expect a wet, cool winter. Seattle and Portland, get those raincoats ready. The Cascades will be buried in snow, great for skiers and water supplies. Midwest and Great Lakes, cold and snowy. Minneapolis, Chicago and Detroit will see frequent Arctic blasts and above average snowfall. Lake effect snow will be a major story. Northeast interior New England and upstate New York get a colder, snowier winter. Coastal cities like Boston and New York face a mix of snow, rain, and dramatic forecast swings. Southeast and Southwest, warm and dry. From Los Angeles to Atlanta, expect mild days but little rain. Drought could worsen in Texas, Florida, and California. The storm track keeps the North active, while the South enjoys more sunshine. Each region faces its own challenges, whether it's digging out from snow or worrying about water shortages. Stay prepared for whatever your local forecast brings. La Nina's impact will be felt right outside your door. Whether you're shoveling snow or soaking up the sun, this winter will be one to remember. Keep an eye on local updates for the latest changes. The weather can shift quickly, so stay alert. Now, let's talk about snow lovers' favorite part, big snowfall. Where will the powder pile up this year? Let's find out. Snow lovers, rejoice. La Nina sets up a snow belt across the northern US and southern Canada. Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan are in for storm after storm, potentially a record-breaking winter. The Great Lakes region will see intense lake-effect snow, especially in Buffalo and Grand Rapids. The northern Rockies, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, are primed for a fantastic ski season in deep snowpack. Much of the season's snow can come from just a few major blizzards, so be ready for big events. The active jet stream means powerful storms, high winds, and the potential for cities to shut down. It's not just about totals, it's about the impact of these major storms. If you're planning a ski trip, head north for the best powder days. The snow will be plentiful, but so will the challenges. Next, let's talk about the risks of Arctic blasts and blizzards. La Nina winters bring a higher risk of severe cold air outbreaks. The jet stream shift lets pieces of the polar vortex break off, sending bone-chilling air deep into the US and Canada. North Dakota, Minnesota and Wisconsin are on the front lines for these Arctic blasts with wind chills plunging dangerously low. Be prepared, protect your home, your car and yourself from extreme cold. These outbreaks set the stage for major blizzards, heavy snow, strong winds and whiteout conditions. The plains and Midwest are most at risk, but even the South can get hit by rare damaging freezes. A hard freeze in Florida could devastate crops so everyone needs to stay alert. The threat of blizzards and deep cold is real, safety comes first. Keep an emergency kit handy and watch the forecast closely. Now, let's look at a wild card that could shake up the season. There's a wild card in the winter forecast, Sudden Stratospheric Warming or SSW. This rapid warming high above the North Pole can disrupt the polar vortex sending frigid air south. An SSW can flip the pattern bringing extreme cold and snow to places that were mild. These events are hard to predict, but La Nina can sometimes make them more likely. If an SSW hits, it could override the classic La Nina setup, especially in the eastern US and Europe. It's a reminder that the atmosphere is full of surprises. We'll be watching the stratosphere closely this winter. Now let's wrap up what you need to remember. Here's the bottom line for winter 2025 to 26. La Nina is the main driver. The north and west will be colder and snowier, the south warmer and drier. The active storm track means more snow and blizzards up north, while drought risks grow in the south. Be ready for Arctic outbreaks, especially in the Midwest, and don't rule out rare southern freezes. A sudden stratospheric warming could bring even more severe cold, so stay prepared. This is a long-range outlook, the big picture for the season. We'll keep you updated as conditions change and storms develop. Stay tuned to your local forecast for the latest. Whether you're bracing for snow or enjoying the sun, knowing the pattern helps you plan. That's your look at the winter ahead. Thanks for joining us. Stay safe, stay warm, and we'll be right back. Winter is coming and La Nina is leading the way.